Local doctors have insight on a study at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York that shows blood thinning drugs may boost survival rates for critically ill COVID-19 patients. Here's health reporter Gillian Neff. Frontline healthcare workers say they collaborate over every single COVID-19 patient in the hospital. And when those patients are in ICU on ventilators, doctors say it's often more than their lungs that are under attack. There's a great concern about the fact that patients who have COVID-19 infections seem to be prone to blood clotting problems. Stanford Health's Dr. Ann Angevine says just about every COVID-19 patient at this hospital is put on low-dose preventative blood thinner. She says the clinical data out of Mount Sinai raises the question of whether a high dose of blood thinner provides enough benefit to outweigh the risk of internal bleeding. Meanwhile, the study shows a lower death rate for severely ill patients on high-dose blood thinners. We're finding that patients who are on high doses of anticoagulation seem to have less than half the mortality than patients who are not put on blood thinners. Yale New Haven Health's Dr. Stephen Kunkus says COVID-related blood clotting is such an issue, it has led to strokes and heart attacks in people under 50. The virus itself is attacking the inside of arteries, the lining of cells called the endothelium. But in addition, the virus is setting off an infl a, a strong inflammatory response in the body that they're calling a cytokine storm. And when there is this much inflammation, it sets off the clotting pathway. We don't know the right dose of the blood thinner yet, and we don't know which blood thinner is most effective. But this is proof that we have at least one way of treating this virus that we didn't have a few days ago. I'm health reporter Gillian Nath, and that's your Health Matters Report. Now